consider the network shown below with R1 equal to 1 ohm, R2 equal to 2 ohms and R3 equal to 3 ohms. The network is connected to a constant voltage source of 11 volts. This is the given network and we are required to calculate the magnitude of the current in amperes accurate to two decimal places through the source. So we are required to calculate this current and let's say the current is I. Now pause the video and try to calculate current I. In order to calculate current I, we are required to simplify the combination of resistors we are having in the network. And as you observed, we are not getting direct series or direct parallel combination of resistors and therefore we are required to find out the equipotential points and we can find out the equipotential points by using the symmetry present in the network and we know how to check the symmetry present in the network and I will first check whether there is horizontal plane of symmetry or not and for this I will tilt the whole network in anti-clockwise direction by 90 degrees and this will give us the network in this orientation. Here I have replaced R1 by 1 ohm, R2 by 2 ohms and R3 by 3 ohms and now we will draw the horizontal plane and this horizontal plane we have drawn is the horizontal plane of symmetry it is horizontal plane of symmetry because you can see that the upper portion of the network is symmetrical to the lower portion of the network and therefore this horizontal plane is horizontal plane of symmetry and we know the points which are mirror image about the horizontal plane of symmetry have the same potentials therefore this point and this point will have the same potential let's call the potential v1 and this point and this point will also have the same potential let's call the potential v2 now it is very easy to simplify this particular arrangement of resistors and have the equivalent resistance between this point and this point now let's say this point is point a this point is point b this point is point C, this point is point D, this point is point E and this point here is point F. Now we have everything to simplify this arrangement and have the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. We will reconstruct our network from the scratch. Let's say this is point A this is point B this point here is representing point C and point D because both the points have the same potential so we can say that this point here is having the potential V1 similarly this point is representing E and F and having the potential V2 now you can see that between A and C we have one ohm resistor and between A and D we have another one ohm resistor. So between A and C we will have one ohm resistor and between A and D we will have another one ohm resistor. So we are done with these two resistors. Then between C and D, we have 2 ohms resistor. Now it is important to understand that this resistor will not contribute in the equivalent resistance RAB because across the two terminals of this resistor, we have the same potential V1. Therefore, the potential difference will be zero and 
zero current will flow through this resistor so we will neglect it it is short circuited the same thing will happen with this resistor as well it is having the same potential at its two ends therefore we will neglect this resistor as well after this between c and d we have one ohm resistor between c and e we have one ohm resistor between D and F, we have another 1 ohm resistor. Between D and F, we have another 1 ohm resistor. Between D and E, we have 3 ohms resistor. Between D and E, we have 3 ohms resistor. And between C and F, we have another 3 ohms resistor. Between C and f we have another 3 ohms resistor now moving forward between e and b we have one ohm resistor and between f and b we have another one ohm resistor so now we have two one ohm resistors connected in parallel between this point and this point one and 1 in parallel will be 1 by 2 ohms 3 and 3 in parallel will be 3 by 2 and 1 and 1 in parallel will be 1 by 2 and then they are again in parallel so from here we are having 3 by 2 multiplied to 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and this is equal to 3 divided by 8 1 and 1 in parallel is 1 by 2 so finally we are getting the equivalent resistance between a and b points equal to half plus 3 by 8 plus half so finally we are getting the equivalent resistance equal to 11 divided by 8 ohms and we are required to calculate the magnitude of the current and current i will be equal to 11 volts divided by r a b so current i will be equal to 11 volts divided by r a b and r a b is equal to 11 by 8 so from here we are getting i equal to 8 amperes so 8 amperes is the answer of this question now we will move on to our homework problem and the homework problem is taken from gate 2017 instrumentation paper read the problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section